Hello everyone, AJ Ryzik here, and in today's video we'll review Kubuntu 15.10. Now, Kubuntu has traditionally been one of my favorite KDE distributions, so I was pretty stoked to be able to play around with the latest release. While other KDE distros tweak their desktop to the nth degree, Kubuntu is, for the most part, plain vanilla KDE and can be thought of as a blank canvas waiting for the user to customize. That is something that really really appeals to me. Um, I really like tweaking the desktop. I want to do it myself, not somebody else. So, you know, that's kind of where I'm coming from. Anyway, so let's get started with the review, see how this release stacks up against the previous versions. Um, you can see here on the desktop, I've got Firefox open to the Kubuntu 1510 release announcement, and I'll leave a link down below if you want to go back and read that you know all the way through I'm not going to do it in the review because you know we're, we're on a time schedule here you know um, but uh, anyway the page includes uh, we got download links little information about the new release uh, instructions on how to upgrade from version 1504 all that kind of good stuff so Kubuntu 1510 comes equipped with kernel 4.2 KDE version 5.4 and KDE applications 15.08. In theory, what this means is you're getting the most recent stable KDE desktop on applications. Um, unfortunately, in my testing, I found the release to be more unstable than stable. Uh, I've had quite a few crashes, way, way more than I did with the 15.04 release. At first, I, I was kind of concerned and wondering, you know, maybe if there was some incompatibility with my desktop and computer. So I installed the distro on my laptop as well, uh, you know, because we've got, you know, AMD versus Intel processor, different video cards, you know, all that kind of thing. Um, unfortunately, I got all the same bugs on the laptop that I was getting on the on the desktop, so that wasn't the issue. So, so what kind of stuff did I run into? Um, booting the distro seems to take forever, uh, both on the desktop and the laptop. Now, I'm running SSDs on both of them, so you know I I'm, I'm pretty much expecting a fast boot. Now, granted, KDE is a heavier desktop environment than, you know, what's used in some other distros. So, you know, I'm not expecting it to, uh, you know, to, to fire up as fast as one of these lightweight window managers. But, you know, like I said, it took me a long time just to get to the login screen. After I put in my password on the login screen, we're still talking over 30 seconds to get to the desktop to be able to get started doing anything. I mean, compared to other distros, that's just you know uh, that takes forever. Um, now, if you're you know if you're somebody that is that is running uh, you know an older computer with uh, you know a slow uh, a slow standard hard drive, you know, maybe you're used to that kind of speed. Uh, I am not with, you know, the hardware that I'm running. I had other issues besides just the slow boot up. As an example, let me go and open up, we'll go to our system settings here, and drag it on over, okay, and go to the online accounts. Now, this is a really neat idea, being able to integrate all your different, uh, you know, your Google account, own cloud, all that kind of stuff. You know, you can go and integrate an account. Just click the create, pick one of these that are listed here, go through the steps to integrate. Cool. Uh, very awesome. Um, on here, I've got, you know, my, uh, my uh, uh, Gmail account integrated. However, if you go over here so that you can configure your integration, click it, the application crashes. And it's not just Gmail specific. On my laptop, I integrated, you know, just about every every one of my accounts that I've got. Always that application always crashes, and I ran into that with some other applications where, you know, they they, um, you know, and these are applications where they're they're things that are integrated with the Plasma desktop. You know, they they just constantly keep crashing on me. So, you know, that is is you know, really frustrating. 
Uh, other thing that I had an issue with crashing was going through updates. Now I'm not sure if that's something that is on the KDE side of things or on the Ubuntu side of things, you know, where the, the crashes during updates was occurring, but I kept getting crashes during updates. Um, seeing as how all of the other Ubuntu 15.10 uh, uh, distros that I that I've tested since none of those others I had issues with uh, with cra with crashing during updates uh, you know I gotta say it's coming from the KDE side of things not sure but uh, that's you know uh, the way things ran that's what it would lead me to believe now we still got a lot of features where we're porting things over to the KDE 5's five series I guess you could say you know we're up to 5.4 now some things are still not completely ported over and so while it's frustrating that those things are not you know fully featured I guess you could say or ready to go uh, you know I do understand that it is not uh, you know it's an it's a work in progress so to speak an example of that is the calendar applet if you click on it you know you can get your calendar to pop up no big deal that's cool but you cannot integrate your gmail calendar with this calendar applet and have your um, you know your uh, your task or uh, uh, um, uh, google calendar events show up on that calendar and from what i've read you know it's still one of those work in progress things to me, that's one of those things that I really want to see on my desktop is, you know, my my Google Calendar events so that, you know, I keep myself on schedule. Um, like I said, I realize that it's still a work in progress, but it's still kind of irritating that you got something here and it doesn't work exactly the way it should. So, I don't want to sound like Mr. Negativity in this review, but I wanted to get the bad stuff out of the way first all the bugs, the issues, that kind of stuff. Because there is a lot of good stuff that comes along with this release. Um, applications is one of the highlights here. Uh, whether we're talking about, um, you know, Dolphin, our file manager, which is probably the best file manager out there, that still works great. No issues, no problems there. Um, all of basically anything where we're trying to get some work done, all of that stuff worked without a hitch. Um, updated to its latest release, um, no issues, crashes, that sort of thing. So I was really happy with all that kind of stuff. Got some new features along with the Plasma desktop. Uh, one of them is the network applet down here. If you go in, there's my network applet. Click on that and select your connection. So we've got my wired, wired connection here. Click on it and it'll show you your network speed, your uh, upload download granted right now I don't have a web page open so really can't show that but uh, you know you got your speed right there details you know IP address MAC address connection speed all that kind of stuff so very nice on that another one is the we now have a full screen application launcher let me go and we'll add a widget so you can take a look at that uh, there we go application dashboard so you click on that and boom, you get a full screen uh, application launcher and also a search for files and, and all that kind of stuff. And you can sort by category or you can just start typing away. So like uh, in the case of LibreOffice, you know, we'll type in writer and boom, uh, three letters and it's already found it for me. You can do the same thing for files, you know, documents, that sort of thing. So very nice application there a, a lot of people like the uh, the full screen launcher this gets it for you system settings is another highlight not just of kubuntu but also uh, just kde in general now other desktop environments they have uh, you know a system setting sort of thing what the the difference between it and kde is that it is very organized here and 
Now, I will say that earlier versions of KDE, it wasn't quite so organized, but now the organization has gotten to the point. It really makes sense. It's easy to find what you're looking for as far as what you want to tweak and play around with. Um, and essentially, all of your settings that, uh, you know, anything that you might want to tweak around and change with, you're going to be able to find a link to it here, um, whether it's the theming, um, playing around with the workspaces, uh, under here the personalization, you know, your account details, online accounts, all that kind of stuff. The network stuff, it's organized, it makes sense, you know, all the hardware stuff down here with the hard, with the hardware category. Other uh, desktop environments, when you open up the system settings, it's kind of a hunt and search for what it is that you want to want to play around with. And then you know, there's a possibility that something that you may want to change the settings on it, um, it's not linked to the system settings. It's it's found somewhere else. So really like how this has become organized and, and, you know, it just makes sense to put all that together. Like I said earlier, essentially we have plain vanilla KDE as far as the theming goes. But that doesn't mean you have no options as far as the way things look here. Um, if we come here to uh, to look and feel, you know, you see we got the default uh, uh, breeze theming. If you go under desktop themes, you can see we got a few things here, a few options, a uh, few options here under the cursors theme. Same thing with splash screen. Back it up. You can play around with the colors. Plenty of default color options here. Um, of course, fonts. You don't like the fonts, pick a different one. Um, same thing with icons. Even on icons, they've got, you know, once again, not a huge number of, of icon sets installed, but there's there's options there. And, you know, same thing when, when you come to application style here. You can go and, you know, tweak this to the nth degree. Um, don't like the Breeze widget style, go and pick one of the others that are installed by default. Um same thing with your wit, your uh, window decorations, and installing new themes. You know, super easy because you know. Here, let me back it up a little bit. Go back to desktop themes. You know, just do an install from file or click right here to get new themes and pick and choose one to download and install. Uh, freaking awesome. So overall impressions of this distribution, uh, you know, it's kind of been a mixed bag for me. Um, you know, I pointed out all the bugs I ran into, the really slow boot up, um, you know, all those issues, so the crashes and that, all of those were irritations. On the flip side, uh, application-wise, things are great. I like some of the new features that we're seeing here. Um, you know, the new network applet, I like you know, a very quick and easy way to see uh, my network speeds, upload speeds, that sort of thing. The, uh, you know, the application dashboard, um, you know, I know a lot of people that really, really like that full screen application launcher. So, you know, all those things are really cool. Um, application wise, things are great here. We're running, you know, most recent Firefox, most recent, uh, you know, Dolphin, most recent uh, uh, LibreOffice. So, you know, on that end of things, things are great. Um, I guess, you know, here here's kind of my thoughts. If you're on, if you're running Kubuntu 14.04, the long-term support release, I would not go and change from that unless you want to go and put the put this on uh, some other hard drive, uh, you know, another partition or whatever, just so that you can play around with it and see the new features. I would not give up uh, Kubuntu 14.04 because that that distro is just so rock solid. There's no reason to change. If you're on 15.04, um, you know, yeah, you might as well go ahead and 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 make the change. Not really necessary. There's uh, there's not a huge number of features that uh, that you're going to see here that you're missing back in in 1504. So that one's kind of a mix. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, to me, 
1510 almost feels like a preview release. Um, you know, here's things that are coming down the pike, and uh, we don't have them all figured out yet. They're not all working yet, um, but it lets you know what, what's going to be in store for you when we get to 1604. Uh, you know, maybe that wasn't the intention, but to me, that's kind of the way that this distro felt. Um, some good, some bad, you know. So anyway, let me know what you thought about the review. Give us a big old thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. Uh, as always, questions, comments, all that kind of stuff. Leave that down below. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. And as always, I hope to see you all on the next review. Thanks a lot.